So this is the um, polymer modified mortar mix you use. You don't use regular concrete, you use this stuff. It comes in different kinds and it's a, a non-sag formula and that's what you want, okay? So you put it in a bucket, you mix it with water, try to make it like pancake mix, kind of, but a little thicker. So this is the consistency you want. Go slow. You don't want it too runny. Now what I did was I also added some uh, some of the uh, the the grout coloring into there as well, uh, whatever colors you want, and then uh, I'll show you what I've been doing. So I've done this uh, bottom part here already. That's uh, pretty much complete. It just has to dry. So um, I taped off the area, whatever. Uh, gonna put my shirt. Anyways, it's a dirty job. It's a messy job, but it's it's a lot cheaper than putting on real stonework. Um, I'm going to show you how I do this. So you need a few tools to do this: trowel, one of these things. This was my dad's. So he used to be a bricklayer. <clears throat> this is the uh, different uh, colored grout mix. I'm using a, a Navajo color, there's like a, a goldish color, I've got white, and I've got black. And um, the way you do it is first you load this trowel a bit, okay? So this is the only thing uh, that has to be done. I'm a messy worker. Uh, this isn't anything done that has to be a, a beautiful thing. It just has to stick. And if you were to use real concrete, it's just going to fall on the floor. Or your arm, or wherever the hell it's going to fall. So you don't want it smooth like that. I'm just going to do a big area here first. And again, this is an inside wall, this wall, so I'm not worried about framing it, drywalling it, and insulating it. Because the other side's part of the house too. I just want to have a different look, different texture, and I don't want to do drywall. So instead of just painting the concrete white, Big of a section as you want. Now you don't want it really smooth, you want it to be kind of rough. You don't really want lines on it. The concrete that falls on the floor, don't worry about it uh, because when you try to reuse it, it will not stick because of the dust and put on the floor. Uh, as soon as I got this done, I We'll uh, clean it up. Okay, so now the next thing you do is when you're saying, okay, this, uh, this is a beautiful thing. Then you uh, usually wait a little while, let it dry. Like five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, let it set up a bit. And what I do is, um, I have a, I'm using a trailer hitch uh, piece of metal and now you got to get artistic so what you want to do is just make your grout lines you can try to catch some of the mud so it doesn't make a big mess if you catch it you can reuse it 
and you're just making stones. You don't want to spend too much time doing this because it, uh, it, it's going to set up on you. So once I've got that, that one, I have a, like a grout tool. But anything will really work, and you just smooth out the uh, the edges. If you don't like something, just add some more. Okay, next thing you do, grab a piece of plastic and you want to just lightly spread it out and that changes the, the texture of the stone so it's not all loose, coarse. There. I'm going to pull it away. If you're happy with that because that plastic is wet, go on the stick. I guess uh, after you use it quite a few times, the plastic gets damp. Okay. Next is the coloring. This is what I've been finding the hardest part is really to get the coloring I want. And, um, it's going to change colors to dry. You can see I did that bottom part there yesterday. And I've been doing this today and so now we're going to color this and this stuff isn't healthy so it's good to uh, uh, wear a mask and the cameraman is just gonna hold her breath. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little away and to bless the house. and just lightly, very lightly brush it. So now I just clean up the grout. You give it a light brush again, you know, to get the, uh, get the edges off. You could put some plastic on again and tap it down. Um, yeah, you've got maybe, I don't know, an hour or so to go over this grout, keep going over, you can go back. This is already getting hard, this is probably from an hour and a half ago. Yeah, it'd be easier just to paint that, but it would look like painted concrete. Now it looks like a castle. <laughs> well, maybe not. 
Um, I'll show you when I'm done. That's what the wall looks like now. Um, it uh, still needs a clear coat on it. I'm waiting for another week or so to let it dry, let it dry for at least 30 days. It's uh, Christmas Eve today. Doors are trimmed out, ceilings painted. And this leads to outside, which I poured the concrete about uh, two months ago, I guess. Keep firewood out here. A little exercising stuff. Kickboxing. Side, enjoy the hot tub. Chickens are going for a hot tub. If you guys go in there, that's actually technically a uh, chicken soup. And that's the uh, waterfall still. I guess it'll be springtime by the time I get around to making that, but that'll be a fun project. So anyways, I'll do a quick video of the clear coat when it's done. Just so you can see what it's going to look like. It's going to make it, give it a wet look. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, Merry Christmas, everybody.